Want more German videos like this? Subscribe to our channel. Welcome to German Holiday Words. My name is Elisa and today's holiday is Tanz in den Mai. Dance into May. Yeah, this is a very um, traditional and fun holiday. So let's get started. Tanz in den Mai. Dance into May. Tanz in den Mai, dance into May. It actually is a very regional holiday and it's from Rheinland. Uh, it's actually where I am from. It's um, near, it's Bonn, Koblenz, Cologne area. And um, it's from April 30th until May 1st. It's a very traditional holiday. It's kind of a lot of, well, a lot of men actually go out together and I'll be talking about it more during the whole video, but I think it's a very, it's a very special holiday. Brocken Blocksberg. Brocken, the highest peak of the Harz mountain range. Brocken Blocksberg. Brocken is the highest peak of the Harz mountain range. Auf dem Blocksberg haben sich die Hexen versammelt und um, ein Feuer angezündet um die bösen Geister zu vertreiben. On the Blocksberg is where the witches met and lit a fire and vanquished all the evil spirits. Hexenfeuer. Witches fire. Hexenfeuer. Witches fire. Das Hexenfeuer wurde ähm, angezündet, um die bösen Geister des Dorfes zu vertreiben. The witches fire was lit up to vanquish the evil spirits from the village. If some of you are interested in the history, but witches were actually haunted in the past and uh, were themselves actually lit up on fire because everybody else believed that um, they had a certain power. And um, it's actually very interesting and it's, of course it's a bit um, scary, but uh, I mean that all ended. So, um, yeah, let's talk about the new way of this holiday. Maibaum, Maypole. Der Maibaum wird in der Nacht vom 30. April zum 1. Mai aufgestellt. The Maypole is raised up at, only at girls' houses. And it's actually the boyfriend who does it. And um, usually the boyfriend can't carry that alone because it's a very tall um, tree so he gathers his friends and they drink before and then they have um, trucks and they go into the woods and they chop down the tree and then they um, bring it to the girl's house during the night and then um, rise it up and uh, yeah usually some guys actually decorate the tree and do all these like fun, fun things and write the girl's names it's kind of a love act. Yeah, so you don't have to be boyfriend-girlfriend and I think it's a really cute and sweet act. When it's a leap year, it's actually opposite. So the girl has to get the maypole and add, a, um, add beer to it and give back to the guy or the guy she likes for all those years of hard work too. Waldmeister Bohle. May wine. Waldmeister Bohle, May wine, which uh, is a popular drink during May. Yeah, so as I mentioned before, all the guys, before they chop off the uh, maypole, they gather together and drink. Of course, it doesn't have to be the Waldmeister Bohle. The Waldmeister Bohle is a Getränk aus verschiedenen Kräutern, um, gemischt mit Sekt. The May wine is a drink made of different herbs and sparkling wine. Thank you for watching the German holiday words. Um, I hope you enjoyed this holiday. Let me know what you think of it and if maybe some of you guys in this big world have a similar holiday. I would love to know. Leave in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs> I love witches. Maybe oh. I'm a witch. No, just kidding. <laughs> Hi, my name is Elisa. Welcome to Weekly Words Holidays. Today we're going to talk about Oktoberfest. 
Oktoberfest, yes. <laughs> it actually starts every year end of September and goes into October, even though it's called Oktoberfest. I've been to it once, it's near Munich. There are some other little Oktoberfest that happens around Germany, but the real one, the big one is in Munich, Bavaria. And there are different beer tents where you actually have to rent space because it gets fully booked very fast. And they also have even games or it's kind of a big amusement park as well. You can eat a lot of, guess what, bratwurst, of course, with um, potato or fries or it's very German. Das Oktoberfest ist eine ein Malige Erfahrung. Oktoberfest is a one of a kind experience. Zur Wiesen gehen. Go to the Oktoberfest. Wiesen actually means field, grass field, but uh, Wiesen is uh, mostly used in Germany when you refer to Oktoberfest. So even within friends or you just write each other, oh, Wiesen, and then everybody knows, okay, Oktoberfest time. Wir gehen auf die Wiesen. It means uh, we're going to the Oktoberfest. Dernde, the Oktoberfest traditional dress. It's like a very traditional Bavaria dress. So only women in Bavaria wear it to special occasions. If you've ever seen a Dirndl, it's actually made of a blouse and a long kind of dress. And then there's always an apron over it. It sounds a little housewifey, but it's actually not. And nowadays it's actually becoming kind of trend again, even within young young people. There's new even fashion designers who make them. Ich liebe Dirndl. Uh, I love Dirndl. Viele Mädels ziehen gerne Dirndl an heutzutage. A lot of young girls really like to wear Dirndl nowadays. Lederhosen. Leather pants, leder means leather, hosen means pants. And lederhosen is the traditional dress for men to wear to the Oktoberfest. On the lederhosen, sometimes there's a family crest. It's called Wappen. Ich würde als Mädchen auch lederhosen tragen. Me, as a girl, I would wear lederhosen as well. Und zur Gsuffa. <laughs> One, two, drink up! <laughs> the Bavarian way or the Oktoberfest way to say cheers. So when you're sitting in a beer tent and you're ready to drink, let's say it together, on swag zufa! I'm really looking forward to this beer. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video about Oktoberfest. And if you've ever been, leave me a comment how your experience was or if you want to go, ask me questions on the comments below. Thank you, bye. Tschüssi. Welcome to Holiday Weekly Words. This is Elisa, let's start. Today's topic is Halloween and All Saints Day. Halloween. Allerheiligen, Halloween, All Saints Day. So in Germany, Halloween and All Saints Day is on October 31st and November 1st. An Halloween und Allerheiligen haben die meisten Deutschen frei. Um, on Halloween and All Saints Day, most Germans are off. Stritzel looks like a cake bread type and it's um, actually braided so it kind of looks like a braided bread and you can have different sweets in it like cinnamon or raisins and usually in Germany it's sold um, during the All Saints holiday and at the bakeries. Um, der Striezel wird normalerweise an, am Allerheiligen Tag gegessen um, the Striezel is usually eaten on All Saints Day. Kostüme, die Kostüme, is costume. 
The costume is actually plural, so the singular form is das Kostüm. Dieses Jahr möchte ich ein Meerjungenfrau Kostüm tragen. This year I want to have a mermaid costume. Stiller Feiertag, quiet holiday. In einigen Bundesländern ist der Allerheiligentag ein stiller Feiertag. In a few states, All Saints Day is a quiet holiday. Süßes oder saures, trick or treat. Wenn Kinder an Halloween ähm, von Tür zu Tür gehen, sagen sie in Deutschland süßes oder saures. Um, yeah, when kids go from door to door on Halloween, um, they actually say trick or treat, but in, in German süßes oder saures uh, translated means sweet or bitter. So they actually um, yell like sweet or bitter and you know, you can choose <laughs> obviously what to uh, give them. So that's, um, that's what kids say. Süßes oder saures! <laughs> Thank you for watching the weekly words holiday version, Halloween and All Saints Day. Leave me in the comments what was your greatest or scariest experience on Halloween. And um, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye. We have pumpkin soup, pumpkin bread, pumpkin cake, pumpkin this and pumpkin that. Hello, welcome to Weekly Words Holiday. This is Elisa and today's topic is St. Martin's Day. Sankt Martin. St. Martin's Day. I remember that as a child St. Martin's Day was very big in elementary school. An St. Martin feiern die Kinder um, den heiligen St. Martin. On St. Martin's Day, the kids celebrate the well, holy St. Martin. St. Martin is am 11. November. St. Martin's Day is on November 11th. Laterne, lantern. Die Laterne, lantern. Ja, die Kinder basteln ihre eigenen Laternen an St. Martin's Tag. The children make their own lanterns on St. Martin's Day. And it's very um, special because you use a special paper that actually is a little see-through and it, when you put a candle inside it has like pretty colors and it's a special holiday for kids. Umhang, cape. Der Umhang, cape. St. Martin was a, a person like a very genuine person who gave part of his cape to a poor person on the street and november 11th usually in germany gets very cold that's the story behind saint martin's cape es ist bekannt dass saint martin einen umhang getragen hat und auf einem pferd geritten ist it is known that saint martin was wearing a cape and actually riding a horse so a lot of times when kids go around town with their with their lanterns there's sometimes a teacher or maybe a father who dresses up as St. Martin's with a cape and um, well there are horses everywhere in Germany maybe you know or you don't know but uh, sometimes they even ride on horses with the kids and sing and celebrate St. Martin. Martin's Umzug Martin Mass Lantern Procession Martins Umzug, der Martins Umzug. So, as mentioned before, the kids from your class or school um, make the lanterns during art class and then go together around town uh, to sing and celebrate Martin. And that's called the Martin Man's Lantern Procession. Die Kinder feiern St. Martin und nehmen am Martins Umzug teil. The children celebrate St. Martin and walk the Martin Mass Lantern procession. Backware, pastries. Die Backware, pastries. 
Am St. Martinstag essen die Kinder eine bestimmte Backware. On St. Martin's Day, the children eat a special pastry and it kind of looks like a, like a man. <laughs> and it's supposed to be a, like a holy person and it's already preparing for Christmas time and um, it, it's actually, it looks kind of a little bit like Nikolaus, so it's all a little connected, but um, the, the pastry is usually eaten on St. Martin's Day. Thank you for watching Weekly Words Holiday St. Martin's Day. <laughs> Have you ever been to Germany on St. Martin's Day? And what is your experience on St. Martin's Day? Leave in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye. Christmas. <laughs> Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Welcome to Weekly Words Holiday. My name is Elisa and today's topic is Christmas. So Christmas is a very special time of the year, I think, for everybody. And my favorite time of the year in Germany is actually Christmas because it already starts in end of November and it becomes very like Christmassy and all the Christmas markets they're really beautiful and if um, if you want to visit Germany I think it's a very good time to visit even though it's cold but I think the Christmas markets make it all up. Weihnachtsfeiertag Christmas Day Weihnachtsfeiertag. It will be der Weihnachtsfeiertag, Christmas Day. Der Weihnachtsfeiertag ist normalerweise am 25.12. The Christmas Day in Germany is December 25th. But it's a little different because in Germany it's the 24th is the day where you eat with your family and um, have dinner together and open the presents in the evening. And then Christmas Day is a whole day to have brunch and play games or uh, watch videos with your family or Christmas uh, movies. And actually the 26th is the second Christmas holiday and it's kind of to um, celebrate again and um, so in Germany, Christmas is a very long holiday. It's three days. Tannenbaum, Weihnachtsbaum. Fir tree, Christmas tree. Tannenbaum, Weihnachtsbaum. Der Tannenbaum, der Weihnachtsbaum. Fir tree. Fir tree, Christmas tree. Auf dem Tannenbaum kommt normalerweise ein großer Stern. On the Christmas tree, usually there is a big star and that star is something that um, is kind of traditional because the families get, pass it on to um, their kid, uh, to their children and their children to their children. So that one um, decoration of the star is a very special star. I think that's a very special story. Weihnachtsgans. Christmas goose. Die Weihnachtsgans. Christmas goose. Well, like most people, I'm sure you do too, on Christmas um, you eat the Christmas goose. An Weihnachten essen viele Familien die Weihnachtsgans. Um, diese wird mit viel Gemüse um, Zubereitet. On Christmas Day, a lot of families eat um, the Christmas goose with, with a lot of vegetables and it's a very traditional meal. But depending on the family, it varies. Our family, we ate every year um, cheese fondue. It's uh, for us, it was traditional. I think it depends on regions too in Germany, but yeah, we ate every year and we still do its cheese fondue. Lebkuchen, gingerbread. 
Lebkuchen, der Lebkuchen, gingerbread. Yeah, I've never made gingerbread myself, but I really want to. I think it's, it's so good and tasty and I love it. Der Lebkuchen aus Deutschland ist sehr berühmt. The gingerbread from Germany is uh, very famous. So if you ever have a chance to visit Germany in Chris during Christmas, definitely eat lots of gingerbread. Christstollen. Christmas fruitcake. Christstollen. Der Christstollen. Christmas fruitcake. This one is one of my favorite too. It's um, very famous and it's usually sold uh, weeks before Christmas and it's sold out all the time. And um, it's a great present as well because um, it's very fruity and people usually eat it maybe on Christmas day for the coffee time. It's like 3, 3.30 in Germany. Der Christstollen in Deutschland is sehr lecker und bekannt. The Christmas fruit cake is very famous and known in Germany. Weihnachtsmarkt. Christmas market. Der Weihnachtsmarkt. Christmas market. And that is one of my favorite things during Christmas in Germany to visit. There's some famous ones like the one in Nuremberg. It's in the south of Germany that, that is very famous for its Christmas market and um, all over town and even small villages and big cities. They have several Christmas markets and they're really, really pretty and they usually open in the evening and people go there to drink hot wine or um, play games and you can they have like these little wooden booths where people sell their own handmade like candles or whatever and it smells so good it smells like gingerbread and very just Christmassy, so it's one of my favorite places to go that's when i really think okay the, it's christmas um, an Weihnachten liebe ich die Weihnachtsmärkte am meisten. On Christmas, I love the Christmas markets the most. Thank you for watching Weekly Words Holidays. If you have any experiences celebrating Christmas in Germany, leave in the comments. Or if you have any funny stories, you can leave in the comments too. I would be really happy to read them. I actually read the comments, okay? I really do. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye. Merry Christmas. Frohe Weihnachten. Merry Christmas. It's, it's Hi, welcome to Weekly Words Holidays. Today's topic is New Year's Day. Yay! I want to go to the beach. It's the same around the world. January 1st. New, new Year's Day. I mean, it's a new year. Neujahrstag. New Year's Day. Der Neujahrstag. New Year's Day. Der Neujahrstag ist ein gesetzlicher Feiertag. Um, New Year's Day is a holiday in Germany and um, it's where everybody kind of rests to be honest because most people go out on New Year's Eve and go out until, I don't know, 5, 6 a.m. and watch um, fireworks, Neujahrsgebäck, New Year's Day pastries. Neujahrsgebäck, New Year's Day pastries. Well, Germans love pastries, as you probably know. And, uh, well, since everybody is really late out at, on New Year's Eve, I mean, I guess people eat late too, so... People eat at 3.30. Coffee time! <laughs> you know, people wake up late and then they eat. Das Neujahrsgebäck wird normalerweise mit der ganzen Familie gegessen. The New Year's Day pastry is usually eaten with the whole family. And um, you spend the New Year with your family. Glücksbringer. Lucky Charm. Der Glücksbringer, Lucky Charm. An Neujahr gibt man in Deutschland als Geschenk Glücksbringer. 
on New Year's Day in Germany, you give Lucky Charms as a gift. They're often in the form of sweets made of marzipan. I don't know if you know, but marzipan is uh, from Germany and it's, well, people, I guess it's, it depends, but some people love it and some people don't. I love it and um, it's a very famous form of sweet sweets and uh, it tastes also very sweet and usually with chocolate around it. It's my favorite. Neujahrs Ansprache der Bundeskanzlerin. New Year's Address by the Chancellor. Die Neujahrs Ansprache der Bundeskanzlerin. New Year's Address by the Chancellor. The Chancellor gives a speech on New Year's Day and um, it's everywhere on TV and it's kind of uh, welcoming, welcoming the New Year's. Yeah, die Neujahrsansprache der Bundeskanzlerin wird meistens im Fernsehen angeschaut und zwar mit der ganzen Familie. Um, on New Year's Day, the New Year's address by the Chancellor is usually shown on TV and watched uh, by the whole family. Frohes neues Jahr. Happy New Year. Yes, yeah, so once the clock hits midnight and the fireworks are up, whoo, fireworks! Everybody is wishing each other Happy New Year and um, hugging each other and being happy that it's the New Year. Frohes neues Jahr! Frohes neues Jahr! Frohes neues Jahr! <laughs> Frohes neues Jahr! Happy New Year! Thank you for watching Weekly Words Holidays and uh, if you have been to Germany during New Year's, let me know in the comments what was your experience and where did you go. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.